Hey guys, it's Giselle and with Halloween fast approaching, I'm going to be showing you how to make these super simple and easy DIY last minute Halloween costume ideas that are all under $5. The very first one is my favorite and that is this Day of the Dead makeup and costume idea. What you're going to need are these temporary tattoos. I picked mine up from Target. This is the youth kind so just be careful of that. It worked for me so it doesn't really matter. But they were only $3 which is such a steal. So you're just going to cut out along the dotted lines and then place it on your skin like you would a temporary tattoo. It actually came with two in the pack which I was pretty shocked about but I was super stoked. In case you mess up you do get extras. So again you're just going to cut along the dotted line, put it on your skin, use a damp sponge, I'm using a beauty blender, and then just peel it off and then voila, you have your temporary tattoo all set. So you're just going to repeat those steps across your entire face until you are completed. One of the things I like about using the temporary tattoos as opposed to makeup is that you can smudge your face, touch your face, scratch your face, whatever you like, and it's not going to come off like it would if you were to use makeup. So I personally like that a lot better just because you never know what's going to happen and your face will stay intact no matter what. So right here all I'm doing is using black eyeshadow and a black eyeliner and I'm just pretty much just putting it all over my lid just to black it out so that the red around my eyes stand out a lot more. Then I just finished it off with some red lipstick and there you have it for the face. Now one thing about Day of the Dead is their flowers and their headpieces that are beautiful. So I'm going to be showing you how I made this one which is really easy right now. So you're going to need a headband and some flowers. I already had this black headband, but you can find flowers at the Dollar Tree, which is where I found the flowers at. So you're just going to take the flowers off of their stems and then glue it on the headband. Now I will say, don't glue it vertically, glue it more of a horizontal so that the flowers actually stand out when they're on top of your head. And I'm showing you that right now what I'm doing. So here is the completed look. All I did was put on a black dress, some black heels, and also a leather jacket as well. So of course we had to do a tacky tourist because that is the easiest one to do by far. Everything in here came directly from my closet. I just wore a striped shirt with a plaid over shirt. I wanted a fanny pack but I could not find one so I settled for a backpack that I already owned. I had long gray shorts. I also used these shoes that I made in a DIY and I will link that video down below and some pink fluffy socks because why not? I feel like no tourist would be complete without a selfie stick and a guidebook, of course, to take you around town. So that is my version of a tacky tourist. Everyone is going to thank you for having that selfie stick and also having a backpack for everyone's belongings, including your own. version of a mime and I thought it would be really fun because who doesn't love pretending to be one? So I started off with nothing on my face and I am just taking a NYX eyeshadow base in white. Now I already had this in my makeup collection and I was actually going to buy face paint but then I remember that I had this and it worked out perfectly. So I am just going to paint my face white all over using that in a damp makeup brush. And then if you want to do multiple layers just make sure the first layer dries before you move on to another layer. Then I am taking black eyeliner and I am filling in my eyebrows. I want them to be really, really dark because that's how the mimes had it in the photos that I was using as reference. And for the design, I just decided to make a little diamond over my right eye and I'm doing that right here. This is totally impromptu and I was kind of just winging it. I put a dot over it and then I did the same thing to the bottom of it as well. And make sure you set anything you do with some eyeshadow. 
For my left eye, I decided to give myself some extra long lashes like you see right here, and this is the finished face, including some red lipstick. So I didn't spend any money on this entire costume because everything came from my closet. I used the same striped shirt as before, along with some black pants, black flats, and some black gloves because I had those on hand instead of white ones. costume idea isn't really a DIY but I had to share it with you all. If you do want to know how to make a masquerade mask, I did make one last year and I will link that video down below, but I actually found this mask at the Dollar Tree so it was only a dollar and you can find it in the party celebration area and they're absolutely gorgeous. The colors are stunning. So I just paired this mask with the same black dress and leather jacket that I wore in the Day of the Dead costume from the very beginning and voila, instant costume. are all of my last minute costume ideas. I hope you guys like it. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and what you're going to be for Halloween. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!